One of the questions that we get asked a whole lot is, uh, well, you've got three different phases. Why don't I use the coldest one if that's going to keep my cooler the coldest? Well, what happens is because this has a very low phase change, it requires a lot of energy to melt it at that phase change of five degrees. What happens is this has the ability to freeze things that aren't frozen already. We have multiple customers that have taken this back and uh, put it with their normal drinks or their beers or their food and they uh, call up and complain because it froze their food. Well, what we recommend is using the Tundra series with frozen items. This with things that you don't mind maybe getting a little frost in them or keeping beer right at 28 degrees, the, uh, the chilling brews for that. And the Alaskan series for more keeping just a refrigerator without any risk whatsoever of freezing. So for instance, to make sure that everyone knows exactly which one to use and why to use it. If you pull things from a refrigerator, a refrigerator is typically 35 to 40 degrees. The phase change or melting point of the Alaskan series is around 34 degrees. So you're matching your temperatures. You want to match your phase change with what you're trying to do. Two things happen there. For this to be effective, it's got to absorb heat. And the less heat that it has to absorb, meaning 34 degrees versus a 38 degree item from the refrigerator, that's only three degrees of heat that it has to absorb to maintain the temperature in your cooler at around the 35 to 40 degrees. So that's perfect for the Alaskan series. The colder you get, such as a chilling brew, you gotta absorb, this has a 28 degree phase change. And if you pull a 38 degree item from the refrigerator, the chilling brew wants to absorb that heat down to 28 degrees. So what you might wind up having is that it's going to A, possibly freeze that product, maybe just a little bit. And the other problem is that you wind up with is that it's going to, by absorbing more heat, it's gonna use it up quicker. So you won't get as long of a uh, duration if you put this with warmer items. Now, it's great, there's a lot of crossover with these two products. What we see is that typically long-term, they work similar in terms of keeping a 40 degree temperature, but this will keep things 35 to 40. And this will keep things more on the 25, 28 to 32 degree range for the first several hours or several days, depending on what type of cooler that you're using. So you do risk freezing some things with the chilling brew. However, it does keep beer perfectly ice cold or colder than ice uh, without having to use ice. So now let's get to the Tundra series. Now, the Tundra series has a five degree phase change. And what happens is when you place this with something that is around 35 degrees from your freezer, think about that, you've got 30 degrees of heat that you're trying to absorb. So for instance, you've got five degrees here, 35 degrees here, and you're going to absorb that heat, it's going to freeze that item, and what will happen is the Tundra series will melt much quicker. So the Tundra series is designed to go with things from the freezer. So for instance, if you pull this out of the freezer, it's around zero degrees, it warms up to five degrees. You put frozen items with this that are from the freezer, they all warm up to around five degrees and they hang out happy and frozen at around five to 10 degrees for hours, even days again, depending on your cooler. Another question that we get asked a lot is, what are the dimensions of your products? I need to know for my cooler. You know, my cooler is a certain size. I want to make sure I get the right one. So first of all, make sure you buy the, uh, the right amount of Arctic ice in terms of pounds. If you use a 10-pound bag of ice, grab two of whatever, the Chillin' Brew or the Alaskan Series to make sure that you replace that bag of ice with equal weights for a drier, longer lasting, or colder, cold. Now, the other question we get asked is, okay, what sizes are they? I got to fit them in. The small size is approximately four and a quarter by six and a quarter by about an inch and a half thickness. The medium size is a six and three quarters by seven and three quarters by about, again, an inch and a half thickness. The large is a seven and a half by nine and a half with about an inch and a quarter thickness. And the workhorse of all of our sizes is a eight and a half, about approximately the size of a sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11 by almost two inches thick and it weighs five pounds. So there you go, that's, that's a question we get asked a lot about the dimensions. So anyway, I hope that answers some of the questions that we get out there. If you have any others, be sure and reach us through our website, www.arctic-ice.com and uh, send an email to info at arctic-ice.net.